Well, meantime, Facebook and its parent company, Meta, have been under fire in recent years for not doing enough about hate speech and potential threats of violence. And after a crackdown on threatening speech, the company took a very sharp turn today when internal company emails revealed threats against Vladimir Putin will be allowed. Today, internal emails show Facebook and Instagram users in some countries will be allowed to post calls for violence against Russian President Vladimir Putin, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, and even Russian soldiers. But it has to be in the context of the invasion of Ukraine. The exclusive report from Reuters says people posting from these countries will be allowed to make such threats, including Russia, Ukraine, Poland, and Romania. Note, the U.S. is not included. Still, the Russian embassy in the U.S. demands that Washington put a stop to Meta's, quote, extremist activities. On top of that, the Russian government is responding. The investigative committee of Russia has opened a criminal case due to unlawful calls for murder and violence against Russian citizens on the part of Meta company employees. It's unclear what the outcome of a Russian criminal investigation would mean for Meta. The new policy is a hard turn from the social media giant's hate speech policy, which does not allow targeting people with violent speech in written or visual form. In this new and temporary policy, Meta clarified on Thursday that advocating for violence against Russian civilians would not be tolerated. The UN Human Rights Office has already issued a statement concerned about the move and some tech experts agree. We don't really have any idea about how they're going to enforce this on a large scale. Our research has shown time and time again that when these policy decisions are made, the more carve-outs there are and the more kind of complicated the policy development is, the harder it is for them to enforce against it properly. Well, now, Russian prosecutors are asking courts to restrict access to Instagram. The country already banned Facebook last week for limiting Russian media outlets on its platform. Now, in Russia, about seven and a half million people use Facebook, but nearly 51 million use Instagram. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.